here on the stars operator. Um, so the pain is usually on my right calf muscles. And like I said, it takes like uh, maybe 100 meters and it will start getting really bad. Okay, so it's in your right calf muscle and it's after 100 meters that it starts getting bad. Fine. And does the pain move anywhere or is it fixed on your leg? No, it doesn't go anywhere at all. Okay. And... How would you describe the pain? Is it like a sharp pain, stabbing pain? Is it like um, kind of an electric kind of pain? Well, it's it's, it's, dull sort, ache. it's sort of, yeah, it's dull ache and pain that, that only comes when I start working. And it's mainly, maybe I think from my feet all the way up to my knees as well, mainly on the back. Okay. Okay. So it's on your, on your from your feet to your calves to all the way to the back. And it comes on after you've had a lot, like walked for like 100 meters or so. And it's like a dull ache. Fine. And does anything help with the pain? Does you sitting down make it better or? Yeah, of course. Yeah. When I, when I, after I reach the bus stop, if I take maybe five minutes sitting without doing any activity, it really improves. But if I start walking okay. again, it will start coming back. Fine. And on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate the pain? When it's 10 there. being. And it's there, it's like eight out of ten, but otherwise it's yeah, I'm comfortable when, when I'm at rest. Okay. Yeah. Fine. And does this rest, uh does it does your movement get restricted when you otherwise um so when you don't have the pain, are you able to walk uh normally or do you have to be careful? Well, I, I walk normally, but but when I started having this issue, obviously it's causing me lots of troubles because I okay. can't really walk beyond one hundred meters. I have to wait like for five minutes it's quite difficult to do to do shopping and things like that so it takes everything's okay. taken longer. okay so you're able to walk like i've got like normally it doesn't restrict but after the pain is what's the main concern fine and any other kind of problems that you've got or any other symptoms that you've got apart from this pain well no 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 i don't have any symptoms at all i think okay that... i'll just run through it I'll just run through a few symptoms, such as any sort of headaches or any sort of dizziness, any sort of uh, chest pain, any sort well, of shortness of breath. No, I didn't have any headache the, uh, these days, but I remember I had, a, I think, a mini stroke a few years ago. Um, okay. But I, I don't complain of anything. I just, I was told it's a mini stroke and they give me okay. some, some aspirin that I take it every day and some other medication okay. that I didn't bother taking it, to be honest. Okay, so you mentioned you've got a stroke um, previously. Do, do you have any other medical conditions in the from the past? Well, that? I, yeah. well, I've been told before that my blood pressure is a little bit high, but I'm, I'm not taking anything for it. Okay, so blood pressure, stroke, but you don't take any medication for the blood pressure. Anything else that you see your GP for or hospital for? Well, there was a one one of medication that I don't remember the name, but I, I heard that it it will cause some sort of muscle weakness. So I stopped taking it. I think it was for my okay. my lipid or my my high amount of lipid in my blood. Okay, so you you take some medications for your lipid levels, and you also take some for blood thinning levels because you've had a previous stroke. Any yeah. other medications that you take? So, so by the way, doctor, I, I'm not taking the that medication for the lipid. I, I stopped taking it like four months ago, or five months ago. Uh, but I don't take any other medication apart from some usual painkillers like paracetamol, but it doesn't help at all. Okay. And are you allergic to any medications? Uh, not what I'm aware of, no. Fine. And do you have any, do you smoke? Uh, well, yeah, I do smoke quite a lot since I was like 14. I smoke maybe 20, 30 a day. So 20 or 30 a day. And how long have you been smoking for? Since I was 14. So it looks like maybe 40 years now, maybe more. Fine. And do you drink alcohol? Uh, yeah, occasionally. Uh, every now and then I do, yeah. And how much do you normally drink on average a uh, day? Maybe a, a bottle of wine every week, I think. A bottle of wine every week. Fine. And with regards to your... Fine. Okay. So, um, any any sort of family problems like this, and running in your family, or um, 
Not the same condition, but, but my father died of heart attack when he was 50. Uh, and uh, uh, my mother died as well of heart attack. And she had diabetes as well in her family. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Um, I think, I think um, I've got a good history from you. So if we'd like to move on to the next stage, if that was okay, with regards to the differentials, um, my, is that okay? Yeah, of course. Yep. So I think my top. Yep. So ideally, I would like to also examine you and also um, find a bit more information than just taking the history. Um, mm -hmm. I would, I would also want to measure your probably um, your. I'd want to so in. Okay. So my top differential would probably be a peripheral vascular disease, um, along with uh, a DVT, um, along with. Um, musculoskeletal uh, type of pain. Um, and I would also be thinking about the likes of um, uh, pain of this nature would also make me think about um, some sort of, so they would be my top differentials to start off with. Okay. Great. So, so yeah, I, I think um, you will be asked further questions based in your differential. So um, let's say, what what would you like to do next in terms of invest? You mentioned that you're going to examine your patient. So you examined him. His the right leg is a little bit pale in color, a little bit cold, and um, uh, there is no tenderness or any bony tenderness anywhere. And uh, he mentioned that the pain usually increases with exercise or walking. And um, is there anything else you would like to do to complete your examination? Um, I would like to do a peripheral uh, vascular examination of the lower limb. I would want to measure all the um, I would want to measure all the uh, kind of pulses in the lower limb, um, such as like the dorsalis pedis, the posterior tibialis, the popliteus, femoral. Okay. And anything else you want to do in addition to that? Um, I would also want to check the blood pressure of the lower leg and check the um, ankle brachial pressure index of the lower leg. And I would want to make sure that it's within the normal range, which is between uh, 0 0.9 to 1. And uh, if it's lower than that, I would be more con concerned about an ischemic um, um, or sort of uh, limb. Okay. The lower limb. So, so you've done this, and the, the ankle pressure, uh, the ankle brachial pressure index is low on the lower side, it's like 0 0.7, and um, your uh, otherwise your exam, your, your pulse, the pulses were quite weak when you tried to feel them. Um, what would you like to do next? So, if it is um, uh, this condition, what I would like to do is probably um, start this patient on um i would want to also speak with some of my uh, vascular uh, surgery colleagues maybe make a referral to them for this patient to be seen by um the vascular surgeons to see if uh, they could benefit from that um but i would probably want to um start this patient on some well this patient is already on a blood thinning medication um, I would want to tell them to continue their statin, which they have stopped because that would stop the process of atherosclerosis in the lower leg and um, help with the deposition of uh, and worsening of the symptoms. Um, so time up. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, I, um, as a feedback, so what do you think first? What do you think we've done? So I, I, um, I think my management was very poor uh, when it came to the management of the actual patient. Um, I think critical, I, I think, did you say that it was 0 0.4 something? 0 0.7. 0 0.7. So it's not quite critical limb ischemia, but it's probably a bit above. So um, yeah, I think I need to just brush up on what needs to actually happen to management. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I agree. I think in terms of the history, the history was quite good. You covered most of the relevant data. You've done good analysis to, to the pain and Socrates and so on. And um, uh, you've established a little bit of differentials when you ask me questions. 
in terms of radiation and um, you could have asked maybe about the back pain as well if i have any back pain for sciatica and um, you could have asked about leg swelling in terms of uh, if it's um uh, DVT, like I said, in your differentials. And uh, you asked about all the risk factors, which in the heart failure and uh, the hyperlipidemia and the diabetes and so on, and family history and so on. Um, and also, yeah, so that that was good. Um, in terms of uh, medication history, um, so the patient gave you a little bit of information about not taking a statin. So you would like to explore more about this. Um, uh, just try to find out why the the, the stop. I, I know I mentioned that it gives me some muscle pain, but maybe ask me uh, why was it prescribed at the first place? So I would say, well, for high lipid. So you're going to say that's quite important and it might lead to something called atherosclerosis, which is thickening or uh, 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 like, a fibro no, I mean, sort of thickening of the wall of the blood vessel um, and lead to uh, the ischemia or decrease of blood to the tissue and so on. Um, also, otherwise, medication history is fine. Ask about surgical history. Um, if the patient had any recent surgery or, uh, you know, like um, anything abdominal or um, if they might have cancer, abdominal cancer and compression of the veins or the arteries might be. Aneurysmal bleed, they might have that as well. So ask about surgical history. Um, uh, yeah, otherwise, you've asked for smoking. Maybe ask about activity and or exercise or the social life and maybe eating and drinking on diet usually how do they what do they eat um all of these are quite important risk factors so um yeah so i would just add those to the history um and finally just maybe do a little bit of ice and uh, you know just ask me any idea what could this be or any what the most i'm concerned about and so on and um uh, summarize your 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 history to the patient. So you've told me that you came with right calf muscles pain that starts after 100 meters and it relieves by rest. You've tried painkillers, it's not helping. You had mini stroke before, you had this and this and this and so on. Uh, just a quick summary. So I will personally aim to take history in four and a half minutes maximum and make it really focused. I know it's, it seems quite a lot, but you don't have to go through Socrates the way we did in medical school. Just ask very quickly. I mentioned to you directly, well, I have pain, my calf muscles, quite severe, sort of 100 meter. Well, to be honest, it's specifying it's a clinic patient. He's coming to your clinic, specifying how severe it is, where does it go? Well, it might be relevant, but just very quickly do the Socrates very quickly. And then, so the way I do it, Socrates, risk factors, other conditions, and then very quickly, any medication, any uh, surgical, medical, family, and how is your social life? What do you do for a living, and so on, right? So that's a and the, and then I'll summarize for one and a half minutes, and I'm summarizing. I'm completely summarizing what happened, and uh, trying to make sure that I haven't missed anything else. And then the three minutes, you will be asked questions. Okay. Uh, in terms of your management, uh, you probably need to read this again. Uh, but um, I would say always try to make your management about this patient, this particular patient. So I will start my main differential diagnosis is peripheral vascular disease. And again, one of the very important points is when you're saying your differential diagnosis, it's quite, it's quite important to rationalize it. So I'm not just enumerating the differentials. So just say, well, my patient is over 50, hyperlipidemia, hypertension and previous mini stroke and known in aspirin and he's not taken his statin the most likely diagnosis is peripheral vascular disease however i would like to rule out dvt back pain and sciatica so on and so forth all right so so you're making like your differential mainly about this patient and also um after you've made your differential you said yeah this is my top differential I would like to examine my patient looking for any signs of critical limb ischemia, mention it very clearly. And then I'd like to do a, a full examination, but most importantly, ankle brachial pressure index and feel the pulses, right? So I think those are the two most important things. At this point, the examiner will say to you the findings. Well, you're worried now, the ankle brachial pressure index is 0.7. 
you would like to move to the next step, which will be doing a Doppler or a duplex scan on the uh, arteries and try to, to, to find out what are, is it monophasic or biphasic or triphasic. So I think in this particular scenario, it, uh, I was supposed to say to you that it is a monophasic from the knee all the way down in the popliteal artery and then the dorsalis pedis and posterior tibial artery. So I'll ask you what does monophasic mean? So it means there is sort of obliteration in these blood vessels. And I'll ask you, what would you like to do next? And here you need to mention some sort of holistic approach for the management. So this patient needs to stop, we need to do like some sort of medical management and surgical management. So the medical management can be one of two things, pharmacological management and non-pharmacological management. So the non-pharmacological management will be a, a lifestyle modification, a change the diet to be eat healthy diet, to stop smoking, to stop completely stop smoking, not even to cut down and maybe cut down alcohol or stop alcohol and um, uh, some sort of exercises, rehabilitation uh, uh, and so on. That's for the non-pharmacological medical management. For pharmacological management, you need to give your patient statin and convince the patient to be back on a statin again and um, also uh, to, to keep them on aspirin or clobidogrel as an antiplatelet medication. The surgical management, this patient might need a sort of a stent or bypass or sort of dilatation to the artery. So that's not your job now. Your job is to escalate to a consultant uh, vascular surgeon uh, um, and obviously to do all the preoperative blood and make the, sure that the patient is optimized for surgery. I know it might seem quite a lot for uh, nine minutes, uh, but you're not expected to reach to the end and the complete management. I think mainly four and a half minutes for um, the uh, history, one and a half minutes for summarizing, and then the rest will be for questioning. And also try to avoid using the word probably. Um, it, 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 it sort of tells that you're not quite confident about your answer or you don't know the differential you're just expecting. So you were sure that it is peripheral vascular disease, and I'm pretty sure that you're aware of this. To just say, this is peripheral vascular disease for this and this. You don't have to say probably. And also when you said ankle brachial pressure index and um, the pulses, well, you need to do that. You, and I'm sure that you would want to do that. Uh, so just say, well, I will do that. Not, not I will probably do that. But, I mean, it's a very subtle thing, but it, to be honest, it does yeah. make sense in the impression uh, from your examiner and so on. All right. Um, but yeah, otherwise... Um, well done. I think the history, the history is not is not bad at all. It's, history is good. Uh, and management is the only thing that you probably need to work on. Do you know when they're marking this? Uh, is it um, going to be, is the marks going to be mainly from the history or is marks mainly at the management section? It's both. So it's basically, so I'm sure that every scenario will be, they will be assessed in your communication and knowledge and uh, uh, data gathering as well. 